Sawadee Gup and welcome to Thailand News Today. Well, yesterday they announced the emergency decree. Uh, details about that are being announced this afternoon. But uh, we'll have a special program tomorrow with all the latest details and the things that you need to know uh, that will help you understand the provisions all the way up to, we believe, the end of April. But for now, let's check today's news. Thailand's Ministry of Health has today announced another 107 cases of the COVID-19 coronavirus at a press conference today. This makes the total number of cases found in Thailand since the outbreak began in January 934 with four total deaths. Yesterday 106 confirmed cases were announced. 52 patients have so far fully recovered. The vast majority of new cases in recent days have been from Bangkok. The Boxing Stadium cluster appears to be the primary cause of many of the recent statistics. Yesterday, the Thai PM Pro Chanachar announced an emergency decree, giving the government sweeping additional powers to cope with the COVID-19 outbreak. That decree comes into effect from tomorrow. We'll have a full report about any new restrictions imposed on people living in Thailand at the moment early tomorrow. The COVID-19 virus has now claimed another victim here in Thailand, Thai Airways. The national carrier has announced the suspension of all operations until May the 31st. The struggling carrier, once considered one of Asia's most luxurious airlines, said yesterday the suspension is necessary because the global pandemic has prompted many countries to impose border closures and lockdowns, forcing many Thai offices abroad to close temporarily and making it impossible to operate to those destinations. Remaining flights start being grounded from today. There's a full list at thetiger.com. Authorities in Chiang Rai are trying to track down three passengers from a tour bus that travelled from Bangkok up to the north last week. The three tested positive for the COVID-19 coronavirus. The bus was travelling from Bangkok to the Chiang San district of Chiang Rai in northern Thailand. The three, all from the same family, are being treated in hospital. A spokesman for Chiang Rai's health department has announced all fellow bus passengers now need to be screened. The new, as yet unfinished, Provincial Hall in Phuket is getting a makeover. And they're turning its meeting rooms into a new emergency COVID-19 hospital. The new facility will be a frontline measure if the situation worsens in Phuket. The new facility is 40% ready and will be fully functional from this Friday. Phuket Province today reported three new cases. The Bank of Thailand and the Thai Bankers Association has announced today that they're going to try and keep branches open in as many locations as possible during the COVID-19 crisis. The BOT and the Thai Bankers Association say they're ready to guarantee customers access to all important services, including deposits, withdrawals, money transfers, payments and loan procedures. They're asking customers and staff to remain at least 1.5 metres apart while waiting for service. And the Royal Thai Army's Army Chief General Apparat is asking all soldiers to return to their barracks after five soldiers tested positive for COVID-19. After 238 soldiers entered quarantine, Apparat decided it would be the best option for the Army to strictly monitor activities of soldiers and place a curfew on the troops. Soldiers are being told to return to their barracks effective now and will have a curfew imposed on them from 9pm every night. Well, sounds like the Thai version of Netflix is going to be very busy. We'll have all the latest details, of course, at thetiger.com. We're putting out about 20 stories every day to keep you up to date with everything that's happening. Thanks for joining us today. We'll be back again tomorrow.